Hi! Hey! Welcome to the monitor. And you, welcome me into the monitor. Let's meet in the middle, shall we? And talk about some pop culture. In particular, we can talk about the trade edition of a fantastic comic that gives you time to catch up before it begins anew. Or we could talk about a, a, a sneak release of a new EP by one of my favorite bands. But why don't we start by talking about the movie Argo, directed by Ben Affleck, who has somehow become one of the best directors working in Hollywood. I can't believe I just said those words out loud, but there you have it. That's an official pronouncement. Gone Baby Gone was great. Uh, the Town was great. And this is his, I think the fourth movie he's directed. There was that one about George Reeves' Man of Steel. But Argo is another Ben Affleck joint to use the Spike Lee parlance. It is actually a story that appeared in the pages of Wired a few years ago. And it is the tale of uh, a number of US embassy workers who were kind of on the run in Tehran after the, uh, the embassy was stormed during the Iranian revolution in 1979. So the CIA sends over this guy who's an exfiltration specialist. How is he going to get out these U.S. embassy workers, you ask? Everyone knows what they look like. Well, he's going to disguise them for one, and he's going to smuggle them out under the guise of being there, scouting locations for a movie that is essentially a knockoff of Star Wars. It sounds like one of those things that would never happen and would only happen in a Hollywood movie. It did happen, and it is also happening in a Hollywood movie. That's what you call the one-two, the double shot. Uh-uh. Sir mix a lot style. However, great supporting cast. I mean, Ben Affleck is in it. He tends to put himself in his movies, which I'm okay with, uh, but also has a fantastic supporting cast, including the wonderful John Goodman and the wonderfuller Alan Arkin. It is... It is alternately tense and hilarious, and it takes place in Iran, and it takes place in, in Hollywood, and it is this kind of fantastic story of pulling off one of the biggest real-life lies uh, that we know of, and to thrilling effect. You should go see it, and I hope that this puts this on your radar. And we have a wonderful uh, interview with Sir Affleck, who has not been knighted, but I am anointing him thus on the monitor this week. We have a great uh, interview with Ben Affleck in the current issue of Wired, which is just hitting stands now, the October issue with Kim.com on the cover. So make sure you pick up not only Wired, but tickets to Argo. Music time! I don't know why I'm shaking my head like this, and I don't know why I'm singing, but we are going to talk about music. And by we, I mean me. And by music, I mean a new EP from the Step Kids, which is kind of an indie band that's signed to Stone's Throw, and they are the trio that was behind one of my very, very, very favorite albums from last year, the eponymous album, The Step Kids. At any rate, they've been touring uh, for a good part of this year, but as they're putting the finishing touches on their next album, which is supposed to drop early next year, they have kind of snuck out this EP, which they're calling an EP, but is actually kind of like a glorified single. Uh, there are two real tracks on it, uh, Sweet Salvation and Bitter Bug, but Sweet Salvation also has a, a remix on it and an instrument, a remix of it and an instrumental of it, and the video for Sweet Salvation also dropped this week, done by their longtime collaborator and light designer with crazy puppets, as you could probably see uh, either behind me or in front of me if I've disappeared and you're just watching the video with my disembodied voice. At any rate, the Step Kids are like if, let's see, well, I guess if Hollow Notes was kidnapped by aliens and then kind of had some sort of genetic transfusion where they received alien DNA and then Hall and Oates spawned triplets and, and, and those three people formed a band. Uh, they kind of defy categorization. They are blue-eyed soul mixed with a lot of futuristic fuzz and I find them insanely listenable and vastly entertaining and I think you will too. So. Pick that up. That is a Sweet Salvation EP from the Step Kids out this week. Back to you. All right, comics this week. Now, the Marvel Universe relaunch uh, started last week and, and continues on, uh, but I don't want to talk about Marvel quite yet. I want to talk about the trade collection uh, of an image title called Saga. It is written by Brian K. Vaughn, the man behind great series, Why the Last Man. He was also a writer on Lost for a while. And the artist, Fiona Staples, they have pledged that they are going to work together, only the two of them, on this series throughout its entire run. And Brian K. Vaughn has stated that he wants this to be his longest running series um, to date. It is the story of a couple 
One is from a moon, one is from the planet that that moon revolves around, and that planet and that moon are embroiled in this horrible civil war that has actually consumed the entire galaxy, with every planet and moon pledging fealty to one side or the other. At any rate, this is star-crossed love in the most classic sense. Uh, they have a daughter, and they are on the run. They're just trying to get to safety for the sake of their daughter and, and for themselves. So, uh, you know, they are, it, it's a parable for all sorts of things in this day and age. Um, a lot of insane kind of creatures and characters. Um, there is a prince with a kind of computer monitor for a head. There's graphic sex. Can't be too mad at that. Great writing as always from Vaughn. Really wonderful humanizing artwork uh, from Fiona Staples. I really like her style a lot. Um, the first six issues are collected in the trade, and it's not like you're going to pick up this trade and already have two or three more issues that have come out. The series has actually been on hiatus for a month or two, and it's coming back in November, so now is the perfect time to get on board. Get caught up. Six issues in one fell swoop. That is available. Hard copy. That is available digitally through Image uh, or your favorite comics app, so be sure to pick that up. That is it for The Monitor this week. We will be back with more. As always, email us at themonitor at wire.com with anything you would like to share, including attachments. But though I can't promise I won't put them in my trash folder if they are too filthy for my delicate eyes. But until we see you next week, inspirational catchphrase here.